what's going on guys JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update the start of daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the January transfer window. So if you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news from this window, then make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. It is free. We are aiming for 15,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video, aiming for 300 likes and let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. But firstly, this video is sponsored and brought to you by OneFootball. This video is brought to you by OneFootball. If you want to download the OneFootball app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The OneFootball app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any Manchester City game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to OneFootball for sponsoring this video if you want to go and download the app then do so through the link at the top of my description that will really help this channel to grow thank you everyone that has so far downloaded the one football app and if you haven't already it's the best footballing app out there go and download it link at the top of my description let's crack on with this video let's start off with the outs our first story of 2021 comes in the form of Jaden Braff an update on him Borussia Dortmund they are keen to sign him and Braff he wants to go to Dortmund we know that from our previous update. No agreement is in place according to Bild in Germany who are thought to be reliable. It's thought that Manchester City, according to this article, are looking for between eight and 10 million euros and they also want to include a buyback clause. That is to avoid another Jadon Sancho situation. So City want to put in a buyback clause there. I'd have thought if they don't get that, they'd want some kind of sell-on fee so they are able to make some money on Jadon Braff. That could happen in January. It's thought that Dortmund are more keen to get that deal done in the summer. We'll keep our eyes and ears open on that one though. That could well happen in this window. Moving on to our next story, another transfer I'm expected to get completed uh, in this window is Eric Garcia. An update on him. Hagrid FCB via Fabrizio Romano both reliable, have been reporting that Barcelona plan to announce the signing of Eric Garcia in January on a pre-contract agreement. His contract now has less than six months remaining. That means that um, Eric Garcia is free to speak with any club for him to sign a pre-contract agreement to join a club in the summer when his Manchester City contract runs out. That runs out in uh, on June 30th. So that agreement can come in place in January. It's thought that that agreement is close. City have worked really hard behind the scenes, including Pep Guardiola trying to intervene to try and get Eric Garcia on a new contract. He's told Pep, he's told Manchester City, he wants to return back home to Barcelona. He wants to go back to Barcelona. That is thought to get done. This window it remains to be seen whether Barcelona will be signing uh, Eric Garcia in this window or not, they have to work on trying to get that deal done first. They have to agree a fee with Manchester City. Will that happen? I doubt it, but it's looking like in, a, in the summer, Eric Garcia will leave City for free to join Barcelona. It's thought that that pre-contract agreement will get sorted in this window. Now, moving on into the end. First, a new name for us. Tete of Shakhtar Donetsk, a 20-year-old Brazilian forward. Plays as an attacking midfielder. Apparently, Shakhtar are braced for an approach from Manchester City and Real Madrid for his signature. First, I've heard of that. 
that's according to Sports Witness. I will keep you up to date with any developments on that story. Like I said, make sure you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Now, moving on to our next story, we've had a couple of uh, updates on Ricky Puig of Barcelona. It's thought he is set to sign a new contract at Barcelona. That's going to be triggered, not agreed, as part of his current contract. That's going to take him on a new contract until 2023. Barcelona will not be loaning him in the January transfer window after it was previously reported that AC Milan wanted to make a move for him. Um, but this uh, new contract will have new details, including a, a new release clause for Ricky Puig, but I'm not too sure how much that release clause is, as the details haven't yet been disclosed on what that is. We'll know that once uh, once the contract has been signed. But this uh, information is coming from Fabrizio Romano, which, like I said before, is reliable information. Now, moving on, this was requested by one of my subscribers to have a look at the Renan Lodi story that's been happening. Uh, so we've got another new name. Uh, Atletico Madrid left-back Brazilian, 22 years old. Atletico, they want him to stay. Uh, Manchester City, according to Fabrizio Romano via Route 1 Football, are saying that Manchester City are interested in bringing in Lodi. City are believed to be looking at left-backs. We know that from Sam Lee, who works at The Athletic, that City are having a look at left-backs. It will take Alexander Zinchenko more than likely to leave first before City make a move for the left-back, but it's thought that City do have left-backs on their mind. I did have a look at five left backs that City could sign yesterday. I'll leave the link to that at the end of this video if you want to go and check that video out or it's just on my channel. You'll see it's on there. Uh, apparently though, um, Atletico Madrid, uh, they're expecting more clubs to be interested uh, as uh, January goes on and into the summer as well. Uh, it's believed that uh, Ad Atletico Madrid will be looking for a big offer to tempt Lodi away from uh, Atletico Madrid and I'm not too sure that will happen. But again, like I said, we will keep our eyes and ears open with regards to that one. Now, moving on to our last story, uh, Manchester City have announced a new sign-in. This is uh, uh, in the form of Estuendez uh, winger Dario Saramento. He signs for Manchester City. He's a 17-year-old winger and will join up with Manchester City in the summer. The fee is €6 million Euros plus a 20% sell-on fee. However, this sell-on fee has a date on it. It's not disclosed on when that expires, but when that does expire, Manchester City will pay Estuend... Uh, Estu... Estuden... Estuend... How do you say that? Estudientes? I'm not Brazilian. I don't speak Portuguese, OK? I, I, I apologise, I do, I'm sorry uh, but uh, City will owe them a further 6 million euros so the uh, deal is worth an initial 6 million euro uh, fee and it could be worth another 6 million euros taking the deal up to 12 million euros what I wanted to say though, welcome Dario to Manchester City for the summer best of luck with the move and I look forward to seeing what he can do in a Manchester City shirt we already have a sign in what a great way to start the uh, daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout this January winter transfer window. So there we go, that's been the video. Hope everyone has enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Aiming for 300 likes. Let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. Don't forget, top of my description, you'll find the link to OneFootball if you want to go and download the OneFootball app. Also, uh, subscribe if you're new around here. If you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news, daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the transfer window. So make sure that you do subscribe. It is free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're aiming for 15,000 subscribers. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me. And follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, we're looking very snug. We've got the dressing gown on. Life is good. Daily transfer videos. They are back. I know everyone is very excited. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. We'll be uploading every single day, 10 a.m. Daily Manchester City transfer updates. So stay tuned for that. So I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Happy New Year. Hopefully 2021 will be a much better year than 2020. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Peace. Ciao for now.